Hello Star Wars fans. So I've seen a lot of uh, complaints about the Q marks on Return of the Jedi. And uh, if we take a look at them, you can see they are indeed pretty ugly. Usually Q marks are a lot neater than that, as you saw in you know, 4K77 and the LPP, the nice neat little green ovals. But here they seem pretty nasty. So for the Blu-ray version I did want to remove them and I thought I'd show you how I do that because it, it is really very easy. Um, I'm in After Effects right now and this is how I'm going to do this. I'm going to duplicate this layer, Control D, and the idea is I'm going to erase it using the eraser tool on the top layer and reveal the frames underneath. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to move this along about four frames because the Q mark only shows up for four frames then it's away for about 168 frames and it comes back for four more and that's it per reel. So just these four frames here need to be cleaned Two, three, four. Okay, that'll work. So from here, do that. That was uh, Alt and left square bracket. Alt, right square bracket. Now we've got just those frames, and I'm going to split it on each one. Each one has to move independently. Split layer is Control Shift D, but I can't do that because my recording software uh, also uses that shortcut for something else. And one more time. Alright, so we go to the first one, and you'll notice if I hide my top layer, which is the movie, everything moves. So we can't just erase it, we have to line them up first. The easiest way to do that is to make this a difference. Go to the layer we want to move, and use the arrow keys on your keyboard, just inch it around until the pipes here are more or less completely black, because that means this area is all lined up. Then we go back to the top layer, and we double click on it, choose the eraser tool, and we just draw right over the Q mark, Paint it black. It's not really painting it black, it's erasing it and showing us the blackness underneath. But it looks like we're painting it black. It doesn't have to be perfect. But when we go back, now we have a hole right there. We turn off the difference, and the Q mark is gone. Go to the next frame. Paint it out. Go back here. All right, didn't move that into position first. Should do that. Got a difference. Move this layer, move it down, move it right, turn this black. Perfect. And again, go to difference, move this layer. This layer. Okay, go back to normal. Go back to our layer and paint this one out.
just a minute around there. Let's go. We can also use this technique to remove bits of dirt that might have been missed. frames a second you'll never know it was there and it's as easy as that just have to do that for each set and we're all done thanks for watching